Elon Musk is totally exposing Twitter, and I am absolutely here for it. Now, look, guys, I got to give you, uh, let you in on a little secret. I actually hate Twitter. Yes, you can find me there at Rob Smith Online, and I have over 200,000 followers, but I hate it. I just feel like Twitter has always been a tool of the left that they own, and they manipulate its importance in the public square, and they manipulate its importance in the public sphere because it can be used to push leftist agendas. And apparently, Elon Musk is a little concerned about this as well because now he is putting his deal to buy Twitter on hold because he thinks that their reports are lying about the number of bots that are on the Twitter platform. Now, when you talk about bots, we're talking about very sophisticated AI bots that can interact with, with uh, users. They can have political opinions and all of that stuff. It's actually really crazy when you dig deep into it. And so let's just think about the vast majority of the accounts on Twitter that have this, un this like, totally inflated amount of followers. And I give this example. So you all know Dave Rubin. Dave Rubin is, is all of our friends, right? Everybody knows Dave Rubin. He gave an example. He looked at the New York Times Twitter feed, which has 53 million followers. I am not making this up. They have 53 million followers. But yet their average retweet of a story of anything like that, we're talking maybe 30, 40, 50 retweets, maybe 150. I mean, those are the, the amounts of retweets that I get on an account that has 200,000 followers, right? So Dave Rubin did a, uh, a test. He said, I could probably tweet out a piece of fruit and get more engagement on this than the average New York Times tweet does. And he was absolutely right. So what I think is going on here is I think that the amount of people on Twitter is vastly overestimated. I think that the amount of bots on Twitter is vastly undercounted. And when Elon really digs in there and sees how many of these accounts are fake, and by the way, if he does a, a forensic audit and they find out that a lot of these accounts are fake, then that $54.20 price per share that he made his offer at is going to be irrelevant because he's not going to overpay. And so this is very, very interesting. It's interesting how Elon is playing chess when it comes to this whole thing. This is what I think. I think that Twitter vastly overestimates the amount of users. I think that a lot of those users are bots. And I think that if those bots were ever wiped off of the Twitter platform, the amount of follower drop that you're going to see from the biggest uh, mainstream media leftist celebrities, you think like an AOC, for example, the amount of followers that they're going to drop is going to be absolutely scandalous. So I got my popcorn ready. I can't wait to see what happens.